Hi there, welcome to Elm Colors. I'm Erica. On today's video, I am going to be working on a whip that I've had in Magical Fairies for quite a long time. I had started the background uh, a while ago with some alcohol markers. Figured I would pick back up with some more alcohol markers and work on this beautiful page. Uh, so these are the winter fairies, I guess. Snow fairies, maybe. Gotta grab a background sheet. Okay. And I grabbed a few of my um, colors from my Ohuhu pastel set. So I have those ready to go. And I'm just gonna start going, I think. I'm not really sure. I need to write down what numbers these are. Hang on a second. Okay. I'm just gonna grab a... Uh, I need a couple more colors. Shoot. I need to get a skin tone and a couple of skin tones because I'm going to do a light skin and a dark skin. So we're going to do this skin tone. I'm going to try to stick to my Ohuhus. There we go. Okay, so I have some skin tones here too. So I'm going to start with that actually. Um, hi everybody. I hope you are doing well. This is I'm coming to you from Friday afternoon. I have some plans this evening and I have um, things going on tomorrow. So I thought that I would go ahead and pre-record. That way it can just come right out and the video will be available for you first thing tomorrow. Uh, oops, I think that area right there should be blue. Uh-oh. I don't know that I have a... <laughs> a um, I have no idea what marker that was. That's not great. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to make sure that I got this video out to you guys. I did um, uh, have a wonderful Thanksgiving with my family yesterday. I hope all of yours was, was lovely as well. If you celebrate Thanksgiving, um, and even if you don't, you know, it's just, it's just a nice day to just take some time to Think about what you're thankful for and who you're thankful for and to celebrate with family. Um, but yeah, we got to see my, we went to my husband's mom's house, um, but we brought all the food. So, well, not all, not just us, but myself and my sister-in-law, we made all the food and we brought it all over to her house. Um She's not really up for cooking anymore, so she was just like, if you guys if you guys can bring all this stuff, then I, you can have it here. That's fine. All right, I got to think about how I want to do this because I kind of want... Um, I think I want their wings, their snowflakey wings here to kind of be... I know I want them to be glittery. And I know I want them to be very light. So I might hold off and maybe do that with pencil. But then maybe do their gowns a little darker. I think that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to do this one in... I'm going to do this one in this color. Yep, that's what we're doing. Okay. So, yeah. And uh, so we made all the food and it was really good. Ended up making quite a few things. I weighed... What did I make? I make... Um, Mashed potatoes, green beans, corn, stuffing, green bean casserole. Uh, was that it? I guess it wasn't that much. And then my sister-in-law made um, mac and cheese, and she made the turkey. And she made a pum couple pumpkin pies. They were really good. And uh, my mother-in-law did the... She had rolls at the house and, you know, drinks and everything. Her house is the biggest out of out of the three of ours. It's got the most open area, and it's just easier when you have... Our families are a little loud. <laughs> so when you have a space for people to, you know, split up and move around and stuff, it's, it's a little... It's a little nicer. Uh, and we... We ate at, like, 11... Uh, which is kind of early for Thanksgiving typically. We normally don't eat until like, I don't know, two or something. But um, yeah, we got together at 11 so that my sister-in-law could go. She had like 
two other Thanksgiving <laughs> things to go to that day. So I was like, yeah, we'll, we'll meet early so you guys can hang out with us for a little while. And uh, it was really nice. We had a fun time. I, uh, I ate a ton of food, <laughs> just, just a bunch of food. And then um, we were able to take home a lot of the leftovers. So I will be able to eat Thanksgiving foods for the next couple of days, probably. Um, which Thanksgiving leftovers are one of my favorite things. I love to have them and I love to eat them. Um, I'm not big on the turkey. Like turkey's okay. I usually just, I don't eat a ton of turkey. I eat a little bit of turkey, but then I eat like a ton of all the other stuff. So I have, you know, a whole bunch of stuffing and mashed potatoes and gravy and all that stuff. Okay. I'm trying to figure out what this is. So this is like a little piece of this frame that's coming out. And so is that. And I think so is that because that looks the same on both sides. So her dress in the background, that should be, that should be all um, dress. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this pinky color. This is still pretty purple, but it's pinky, more pinky. And I'm going to use that on the bottom of the dress here. I don't really have any plans other than I wanted these colors to be very cool um, toned colors so that it does kind of feel like a wintry page. I am trying to figure out. Sometimes with Marjorie Sarnett's books, it's hard for me to figure out what things are. She's got so many lines and a lot of the times like the outside edges of things are dark enough that you can tell uh, what's supposed to be what, but a lot of the times it's just like, what is going on on this page? Okay, so that's hers. So now we'll do, let's do a light blue. Let's do this color over here. Yeah, we're gonna do hers in light blue. Um, yeah. Just, just had a really nice day yesterday. And then, you know, before that basically was just, the whole week was just getting ready for, for Thanksgiving, making sure I went to the grocery store, got all the stuff. I uh, made sure I went to the grocery store before all the craziness. Um, and then I did have to go to the store one day during all the crazy, but um, I went early enough that it wasn't super bad. So that's nice. Yeah, I think this area right here is um, supposed to be the same color as the background. I'm going to have to find <laughs> a color that's close to those because, yeah, I think that that's supposed to be. Um, that color. So, <coughs> sorry, I am, I feel like I'm starting to come down with something. My eyes are all blech. I just feel like they're constantly like runny and <laughs> I'm sure that's really great for you guys to hear, but it's like, I'm like having to wipe the corners of my eyes every two seconds. Uh, my nose is running. I'm pretty sure it's like allergies because the weather here is just cuckoo. Like we were had like straight up winter weather for a few days and then it's popped back up and the highs are like in the upper 50s and almost close to 60, which is just weird for this time of year. And I just think the weather is just messing me up. But I, um, it's just typically in the mornings, you know, first thing in the morning, but I'm feeling okay, especially after a couple of cups of caffeine, I'm, I'm doing much better. Uh, my tea first thing in the morning really does help. And then, you know, later in the afternoon, I'll open up a couple, well, today has been a couple of cans of Diet Coke, but um, typically I only, I only do one a day. I just needed the extra boost today for some reason. Okay. Yeah, 
so this dress isn't going to be too toned, but I still think it'll be pretty. It's so hard to see what things are. Um, let's see. So this weekend, so tonight we get to go to a friend's house. They're having a Friendsgiving, so we're going to go hang out with them. It's uh, my friend from high school. Her and I have been friends since high school, since our junior year in high school. And um, our boys are about the same. Well, she has two boys, but our her oldest boy and my son are the same age. So they were kind of raised together and were best buddies when they were little. They were so cute. Um, but now they're both in college and... Yeah, so we've known each other for forever. So we're going to go to their house and hang out. And uh, they're, they've invited a bunch of different friends over. So we don't know anybody really except for them. But I think it'll be fun. Um, kind of gets, you know, I'm a little out of my comfort zone. Just a little with that. But I think that um, they'll be good. They'll, they'll, you know, if things get awkward enough, they'll understand if I have to... <laughs> If I have to leave or whatever it is. Okay, I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do here next. So I've got them colored in. The alcohol marker spread so much that it's covered their eyes now too. Darn it, I hate when that happens. I'm going to have to go back in with white. Okay, so we're going to do this color on... Yeah. Yeah? Man, this is not easy. Yeah, we're going to do this. Got to figure out what's what. Uh, but yeah, so we're going to go over to their house and hang out for a little bit. Just catch up. It'll be nice to see them. And then um, tomorrow we're going to be putting up Christmas tree stuff all day. Not just Christmas tree stuff, but the Christmas stuff around the house. Possibly doing the outside stuff too because it's going to be such a nice day tomorrow that it would be perfect to put that stuff up. I don't do a ton on my um, on my outdoor stuff, but I like to have something every once in a while out there just so it looks nice, you know. All right. This is going to be wonky. Um, everybody, so as I was drinking my tea this morning, I kept getting text messages over and over and over. I was like, what is going on? So I finally looked at my phone and I had like a bunch of text messages from people saying, what do the kids want for Christmas? What do you want for Christmas? What is it? And I'm like, everybody must be shopping like crazy today. And I know it's a big day for it. I just, I am not in the shopping mode yet. Like I, I bought a couple of presents for people, but not, not too much yet. And yeah, but my brother, my brother specifically was just buying and buying and buying today. And I'm on a couple of like the, t <laughs> the text, um, the chat, what, what is it? text threads, whatever, text chain. I don't know what it is. I don't know why I can't talk right now either. Um, anyway, I'm on a group text. That's what it is. Good Lord. <laughs> group text with him and a couple other people. So he's, you know, asking, you know, what do they want? What is, what are you going to get? And all these other different things. And I'm just like, oh my gosh. But he was on a roll today. He said he got a whole bunch of people done. So he doesn't have to worry about it anymore. I was like, well, that's nice. But he's also working and going to school, so he probably needs to just take today and get it all done so he doesn't have to worry about it. Okay, that one's done. I'm trying to figure out what else. Yeah, I think I want this to be that same color. So we're going to do... And I'll just have like shading and stuff to kind of differentiate between the two colors. I was trying to figure out what I was going to...
color with you all today. And I was like, I don't think I have that many uh, whips started that are, you know, Christmassy related yet. Um, I have been coloring because uh, I was just like sitting on my, um, sitting at my couch and just doing a bunch of coloring one day. Okay, where does that go? I'm going to follow this. <laughs> This line all the way around. Okay, so that goes up here, I think. I hope I interpreted that correctly. Um, but I had my um, Crayola Super Tips with me and um, a couple of single sided pages or single side page books. And so I was just like, okay, well, I'm just gonna start coloring things. And so I just started grabbing markers and I have like, I don't know, four or five different pages in one of my books now that have just little bits here and there colored <laughs> with Crayola markers. I didn't really wanna do a full page. I just wanted to get a little bit done on one of the pages or, you know, a little bit down on the page. And then, and then you know, if I didn't feel like I was, you know, could color anything else with the markers, I would flip to a new page and see what else I could do or flip, you know, whatever inspired me at the, at the time. And sometimes that's, that's just kind of how it is with coloring. You know, you don't really want to do a whole page, but I do find that even just coloring bits and pieces really does help me kind of get my head in the right frame of mind, I guess, just to be able to function a lot of the times. All right, let's see. This is, looks like a hot mess because these markers are bleeding everywhere. This is real rough. Okay, what else do I have to color here? Uh, we're gonna do, we're gonna do this part. Uh, so let's see what else. Channel news. I released two videos this week. Um, one of them was the Christmas books that I have set aside for myself. I have several Christmas books and that was only a, a few of them that I had <laughs> picked this year to color in. Um, those were just the ones that were kind of catching my eye at the time I made the video. But I, I do want to try to color in those books this year. And then I also went through some of my other books that are not Christmassy books. So some of the books from my books to finish list and um, some from my other, a few of my other favorite artists are, are, I went through and kind of picked out some Christmas or some pages that I thought that I could either turn into Christmas pages or, um, you know, some of the books that I have actually have kind of Christmassy themed pages in them, even though they're not Christmas books. Um, so yeah, I was just kind of made videos, you know, all about the books that I have set aside for the next couple months. And this was actually one of them because this is not a, this is not a Christmas book, but you know, you do have a winter page in here that you could, you can color. Uh, and that's what I like about, especially some of these Creative Haven books. They have so many different themes that you can just, you can find whatever you're looking for. If you're in the mood to color snow, you can find that. If you're in the mood to color flowers, you definitely can find that. But, you know, it's just like all kinds of different themes in each of the books. Okay. I have no idea what I'm doing right now. I'm just kind of putting color wherever I feel like it goes. I'm hoping at the end of this, I'll make something that looks pretty. I'm pretty sure I'm in that stage where I'm just like, uh, what is happening? <laughs> I've ruined my page. I hate that stage. I wish it didn't, I wish it didn't exist. Like, just let me be, <laughs> let me be um, confident in my abilities here and not second guess every single thing that I'm doing. I don't think that's the way art works though does is it that's just it's just how we how our minds work okay I'm gonna grab a drink here 
Okay, like I said, I'm on my second, <laughs> second cup of caffeine for today, so hopefully I'm making some kind of sense. Uh, let's see what else for channel news. I am in the process of recording all of my videos for my uh, 12 days of Christmas series that I'm going to put out. I it's taken me a couple days to get through one of them, so I'm hoping that I'll be able to get quite a few done uh, this next week so that I can get them all out on time. I have the first few done, but I got I got a little stuck on one of them, and that was frustrating, so now I'm, I don't know, it's just like when you get, when you get stuck like that, then you're looking at them, and you're like, ugh, I don't want to do it. It's ruined. <laughs> I don't want to do it. But I'm going to do it because I told you guys I would, and yeah. And I have ideas. It's just they weren't working out exactly how I wanted. So that was a little, a little frustrating. Okay. This little bit. Oh, that's a blue pit. A blue bit right there. That needs to be blue. Uh, let's see. What else do I have here? Okay, I think that that looks pretty good. I'm gonna color behind here. Boy, I think I'm gonna end up using a lot of white Posca to <laughs> cover things up because this is not, these markers are not staying in their, in their lines. Uh, I'm also trying to figure out what other kind of, um, yeah, I'm going to color these two. What other videos, like quick videos I can make while I'm doing these. Um, oh, that's not the one I wanted, but that's okay. Uh, while I'm recording these other, the series, so that I can at least still have some content for you guys to watch while I'm working on that. Um, but I'm not really sure what else to do now because I did both of those, like the books that I'm looking at to color in. I have done like all of my, my Christmas collection before, but maybe I could do like all of my finished pages. I don't know. All of my finished Christmas pages, maybe? Let me know what you guys think about that, if that's something that you would want to see, even though I've kind of done that in the past. Um, okay, I'm going to do this part. Uh, yeah, so that, that might be something I can do, because it's just a, it's a quick, you know, kind of show and tell thing instead of me trying to do like a color along or something like that for you. There's always time later in the month I could I could possibly do a color along, you know. I wouldn't have to, uh, once I get through this series, then I can focus on other things. But um, especially the last couple of days of this month and the first few days of next month are probably going to be working on things to get that series done. I did have, um, I don't know, I can't remember who it was, but I did have someone comment about... Um, I don't even remember what the comment is, but it was basically like, you know, it, 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 when you, when you do these videos, it takes us longer to color the video, um, than it does you. And I was like, <laughs> I, I understand that because in the, when I make the videos, you guys don't see a, a ton of the work <laughs> that I put in it into it behind the scenes. And I was just like, yeah, I know that it takes a long time, but that's why, that's why these videos are not super easy to make because I do so much of the work off camera uh, and it's it it takes up a, a ton of time and um, okay what do I want there that's I think I want this um, so yeah so I just yeah I just wanted it to be like, I know, I, yeah, I get it. I know it, <laughs> I know it takes a lot of time because it does take me a lot of time, even though it doesn't look like it. But that's the magic of editing, you know? Um, and I don't really know why I said that. What was the point of that? 
I don't know. Just so just so you guys know that I am working, I guess, maybe. <laughs> I do put quite a bit of, of my heart into this, and, and I hope that you appreciate it. I, I know most of you do. You most, most of you are just wonderful, wonderful people and give me all the support and love, and I appreciate that. Okay. I don't know what's happening here. Like, what is this little bit right here? I feel like that part was maybe supposed to be a different color. I don't know. We're going to do this part. I'm going to do a lot of this snowflake pattern design thing in this purple color. And then I'll probably come back in with my pencils and do either lighter or darker accents to all of that stuff. I always love the look of these pages when they're done, but trying to figure out what things are in like while you're coloring it is just like, it's a little frustrating sometimes. Um, let's see. Oh, I did find another, um, I think I'm just going to block that off and color that blue. See if I can find a match to this background color. So I feel like that's what that should be anyway. Uh, I did, uh, start reading another book series and this one's actually good, which I was thankful for. And of course, I don't remember the name of the series off the top of my head, but the author is C.N. Crawford. And I think it's like Angel of um, something. The book that I'm reading now is Angel of Dream, and it's the fourth book in the series. Um, but it's pretty good. I, I like it. It's very, it's a kind of a dark urban fantasy kind of kind of story. It's, it's, it's pretty good. All right, I'm trying to figure out what everything is over here. So I think all of this is going to be purple. I think, I think. Uh, also, Amazon was having a sale, so, and I know we're way behind the times on this, but we finally got a fire stick, so I can watch, like, Instead of having to plug my computer into my television every time I want to watch something on my big screen, uh, we finally got that all set up so that I can watch like Amazon shows and Hulu and Netflix and all that stuff on my on my computer or no on my television, not my computer. And uh, so yeah, I'm excited. Oh, that's that part, isn't it? Yes, that's what I want. Um, so I'm excited to start watching some of the shows that I've been kind of putting off until I was able to do that. So one of them that I'm really excited to watch is the new Lord of the Rings um, show, which I just adore. That's one of my favorite um, series ever, those movies, the, the Lord of the Rings movies and the Hobbit movies. I just adore them. Um, okay. These sides are just a little bit different, and I'm hoping that I'm coloring them similarly enough. But I guess if they're different, it doesn't really matter if I color them the same. <laughs> um, yeah, so if you guys are, uh, done with Christmas shopping, I would love to hear that if you, you know... If you haven't started, let me know that too so I don't feel so bad. <laughs> um, I have quite a few people that I need to buy for. Not that I need to, that I want to buy for. Let me put it that way, that I want to buy for. Um, so it does take me a little while to finish all of that up. Okay. I like... What is happening here? What is all of this? I don't know. Um, I really like to give gifts at Christmas. It's one of my favorite things to do. But the buying of the gifts is sometimes a little, <laughs> a little rough. A little, a little um, anxiety inducing, I guess. I don't know. All right. 
Yeah, so today I still have to go and bake some cookies and I am making some yummy uh, bacon crackers to take with us to the, I wonder if that's supposed to be blue. No, it's purple now. Um, to the party tonight, we're gonna take the bacon crackers and I love those things. So I do have to get those and those take a couple hours to bake because you bake them um, at a low heat for a couple hours and it's, they're just delicious delicious um let's see yeah i like that do this part and then the snowflakes and stuff I'll probably end up doing some with pencil some with markers it'll just depend on the mood I guess I don't know all right I feel like I want a lighter pink like I than this one and I know that I have a couple of them in here that I could probably pick from I need to need to test these guys out. So this one is, that one's pretty pink. No, I don't like that one. No, that's too bright. These Ohuhu pastels are a really good color, but are really good markers. I just wish they had lighter pinks. They have a couple of light pinks, but they're not quite what I'm looking for. Um, see, this one is like too, it's got too much red or orange in it or something. This one might work, this one that I pulled already. And the other ones that I have are too, again, too warm. They're not cool enough. So I think this one will probably have to do. I'm gonna color this bigger section in here with this pink and then probably do the other little bits and pieces around with some pencils. I think I'll try to use a different pencil brand on this page too than I've been using lately. So, you know, I I tend to go for my my comforts. Um hmm. Well, that's wonky. So that ends there. I guess I could color this part in with that. Yeah, and I'm just gonna color this whole thing down here. Um, I know I was talking about my pencils, the pencils I've been using lately, but I don't remember what I've said so far. So I typically use my, my Prismacolors, my Polychromos, uh, Black Widows, those are all the ones that I'm most comfortable with. But I have a couple others that I really like that I just don't use very often. So like the um, the Light Fast, the Dermot Light Fast and the Pro Colors, I, I have found out that I really like those. I like the um, Spearer Farben pencils a lot. Those ones are really cool. Uh, my Arteza pencils are always fun. Yeah, see, this one's all wonky, so I'm just gonna have to do this the same up here, I think. Yeah, it's not the same on both sides. That's frustrating. If you're gonna have things like <laughs> look like they're the same, make them the same. Because all these little bits and pieces are just a tiny bit different. So, because this one goes up to here, and this one has another whole piece that's in there that's not on that side. Ugh. I am going to color this piece pink. And then color this piece pink, I guess. I guess. All right. 
well, let's see, what else do I want to do? Hmm. I don't think I'm going to do anything else with that one. All right, uh, let's do hair color really quick, and then we'll probably be done for today. So I want her to have blonde hair. So if I'm looking at my... Uh, I'm looking at all of my pastel colors here. So this is a really light yellow. That's a good possibility. I want a little bit more brown in it, I think. A little... Nope, that's not... Nope, nope. I don't like that one at all. Um... That one's kind of nice. Hmm. What else do I have over here? I have this one. What do you look like? No, yeah, that's too orange. Oh, that one's okay. Uh, yeah, let's do that one. Oh, look nice and like a dirty blonde instead of like bright yellow blonde or anything like that. I'll be really careful and try not to get it on her skin. Okay, and then I am gonna have to go outside of my, my light colors for her hair because I think the darkest one that I have would be like yeah we're gonna have to go outside of that so I'm gonna go into some other colors let's try so this is from the skin tone color yeah let's try that one Trying real hard to not let this bleed too far into other areas since it's such a dark color. Ever since I started doing the, or ever since I did the, um, that 13 days of Camellia Angel Cova, I, anytime that I can use my alcohol markers now, I love it because it just makes the whole page go so much faster because I use that as a base or I use that just to color the, the image itself and it just makes everything go so much faster. Okay. All right, well, I think that's it for today. I know it's not super <laughs> um, complete or anything, but I think it's, I think it's gonna be cute when I finish it. Um, like I said, there'll be lots of, lots of sparkly bits. If you guys wanna see me color this again next weekend, uh, let me know in the comments and I can, I can do that. I can record that next weekend and work on this some more. Um, cause I know sometimes in these weekend whips, you just, you see a little bit of it and then you don't see it again until the end of the, the month. If I, <laughs> if I manage to finish it. Um, uh, but yeah, let me know if you want me to keep working on this next weekend and, um, I could probably do that for you. Uh, so yeah, so that's it for me today. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Thanks for listening to me ramble on about all the different bits and pieces that I did. And uh, yeah, I really appreciate all of you. So until next time, I will see you later. Bye.